If you have a four valve compensating euphonium, you'll see these three loops on the back of it, which are the extra loops used for the compensating system when any of these three valves is used in combination with the fourth valve. Now, an advantage of this system, assuming that this first loop here on the first slide is removable, and on my instrument it is, because of the removable first compensating slide, I'm able to look at the valve action. As I press the piston down, I can see if the ports line up correctly. It's a little hard to tell here because of the glare in the picture, but if you see the silver part comes down and lines up perfectly with the hole. Now that's only going to happen if this pad, in the case of my horn, this pad here is the correct thickness. That's what stops the travel when the valve comes down, like that, and that's what determines the alignment. If you had a, a pad that was too thick, then it would not come down fully, and you'd see this sort of overlap that I'll show you here by exaggerating it, rather than this alignment here. So that's a very quick way to tell if you have the proper thickness pad on the first valve. And then of course you want to see that the other three have the same pad on them. Some horns have a different pad on the fourth valve, so don't necessarily go by that. Here's another way to tell if the first three pads are all the correct thickness. Once you've determined that the first one is, push them all down. When they're all pressed down, you should see the three buttons in alignment. The same would be true now if the three buttons are in alignment here. That would mean that all three pads on top of the piston are the correct height. The height of this pad determines how far up the piston can come within the cylinder when the, when the cap is on here. We buy a four valve compensating instrument like this because of the way it plays and what it can do for us. But that little addition of that first compensating slide on the back being removable means you can also check your valve alignment on the downstroke, which is a very useful thing.